Me Shadow from Marvel Blast Ultra PC port team, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up multiplayer for Marvel Blast Ultra PC port. Now, like the Xbox 360 edition of the game, every Marvel Blast Ultra multiplayer match has a host. Uh, this host has extra privileges because they get to choose uh, the next level which everyone will play. If you never plan on being the host, then this tutorial is useless to you. You can just use the in-game buttons to choose a server which is already up. But assuming that you wish to be the host, uh, this tutorial will be useful to you. Similar to Minecraft, Marvel Last Ultra requires that you be port forwarded in order to host a multiplayer server. Uh, in, if you already know how to port forward, the port that you have to forward is 28,000. That's 28,000. But I'm going to assume that you don't know how to port forward, so I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to do that. This tutorial will only work on Windows, but Marvelous Ultra PC port is only supported on Windows, so that works out. Now, one thing you will need to do is you'll need to go to your control panel, and you'll need to go to your network and sharing center. If you can't find the icon for that, just search the control panel for it, and it should show up. You need to go to Change Advanced Sharing Settings and drop both of these down. You just need to make sure that both of these have Turn On Network Discovery checked. That one does, and this one does too. Then when you're done, you need to press Save Changes. Uh, in my case, they're already on, so it's not going to let me save my changes, and I can just close out of this window, but you may need to turn those on and press save changes. To go to your browser, I'm going to open Firefox and go to this website. So I will have this link in the description, geogensoft.com slash software slash 10 dash port dash mapper. Now that will bring you to a page which looks like this one. And at the bottom here you can see there is attachments and our Tuno port mapper is attached. So click on that link. Make sure you save it. Press OK. And just save it into a folder where you can easily access it. So now go into the folder that you saved it in. And now we are going to right click on that and we're going to press extract all and now just press extract as you can see that brought me into a different folder so now I can close the original one and here is Albertino port mapper you'll see it has a little triangle icon now uh, there's a small chance that when this program opens it'll say no router found or something along those lines if it does then just close it and open it again. Uh, thanks to LeeZX for that helpful tip. And I can open it up. Alright. So, the next step is to go to this little icon that says All UPnP Mappings. Now you'll notice that in this original window we have a big number and a small number. Now the bigger number is your IP address uh, and the smaller number is your address on the network. Now this smaller number is the one that's important to us right now. Um, so remember this smaller number. In my case it is 192.168.1.2. Now what we need to do is we need to go into this all UPnP port mappings window we've opened up here and we need to find anywhere where the local IP address is the same and we need to press the minus sign down here after we've selected them so as you can see I'm selecting ones that have 192.168.1.2 under the local IP address thing and I'm pressing the minus sign on them but don't press the minus sign on one that does not have the same smaller number. 
only do it for ones that have the same smaller number. So none of these ends in dot two, except for these two. These two end in dot two, and I can remove them. All right. So once you've removed anything on this list that has the local IP address of the number that's here on yours, it might be a different number. On uh, mine, it ends in point two, but on yours, it might be different. So once we're done that step, we can close that window. Now we need to go back to here, and we need to press the plus sign on the bottom left. Now, under local ports, we'll need to put 28,000 and just tick the UDP box. You'll notice the second box fills out with the same number. And under the description, put MBU0 and press Add Mapping. And as you can see, this little icon is green, which means that it worked. Now, one thing you will need to do is if you ever need to restart your router for some reason, for example, if you have a power outage or if you switch ISPs, such as by switching from TELUS to SHA, then you will need to uh, reopen Albertino and you will need to repeat the step where you go into all you PNP mappings and remove the similar smaller numbers and you will also need to repeat the step where you uh, add back the 28,000 number into Albertino. But those are the only steps you need to repeat, and you can just use the same copy of Albertino that you had before. Also, make sure that removed mapped ports on exit is unchecked before closing Albertino. Okay, so now we should be able to close out of this window, and we should be able to close out of the browser, and go into our Marble Blast Ultra game, and it should be able to host a multiplayer match. Now, your friends will not need to do this step. Only the host, as I said, needs to do this step. So your friends, which will be joining you, will not need to be uh, port forwarded. So I can go into multiplayer game and choose create match and press OK. And now my name should show up on server. Mode. As you can see, my match is on the list of servers. And this is only as of 1.8. In 1.7, your name would show up on the list regardless of whether you had your port open correctly or not. But now, uh, as of 1.8, if you have it set up correctly, that is the only scenario where your name should show up on the server list. So that proves that I've done it correctly. Now, a few frequently asked questions. Do you need Hamachi? The answer is no. Uh, you may be under the impression you need uh, LogMe and Hamachi because Eric, uh, who is also from the Marvel Blast Ultra PC port team, he made a tutorial on how to set up multiplayer matches as well. And in his tutorial, he used LogMe and Hamachi, but he was using a very old version of Marvelous Ultra, and that method of hosting a multiplayer match is not only really convoluted compared to this, but it is also unsupported. You also don't need Tungle or Tungle or whatever it's called, and you don't need to open port 28001 or 28001. This used to be a requirement with older versions, but now it'll just make your game run slower. Uh, so don't do what Eric's video said and open 28001 or 28001. Just only open 28000 or 28000. Uh, okay, so let's say this is a very... Th this probably will not happen. I've never had it happen to anyone. But if you go into Albertino 
and removing those smaller numbers causes something not to work like if it causes something with your internet to stop working uh, the easy there's an easy solution just restart your computer and it will put all the other smaller numbers back again so uh, that should be easy to fix um, when people try to join me they get an error connect request timed out what does that mean well it means that you have not port forwarded correctly. Go back and ensure that you typed the number 28,000 into Albertino. If you didn't, then you will need to repeat the step where you remove the smaller numbers that match and add 28,000 into Albertino again. Uh, when people try to join me, they get an error that says CRSRV old. What does that mean? It means that you're using a different version than they are. Ensure that you're both using the latest stable uh, or the latest dev build because the stable and the dev build are not compatible with each other. When my friend tries to join me they get an error that says invalid packet unpack update. What does that mean? It means that you probably have some DLC from the site or are using a different version uh, in which causes the two versions that you're using to not be compatible with each other. So ensure that you are both using the same version and have the same DLC. It's best when hosting a multiplayer match to just use a fresh install of the game. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's all you should need to do.